Welcome back, daydreamers, to another episode of making this crap kit better, the RMS-099 Rick Diaz. And today we're going to go ahead and block out some hand-painted details, then reassemble and run our power line through the leg, where we're going to hide it for our final assembly. So stay tuned for that, and uh, stay tuned to the end of the episode for some special, special messages from your sponsor. Okay guys, like I said, I have great, great news. Please stay tuned to the end of the episode. Let's get started on hand painting some of the details on this kit. Really, it's blocking out. We're not going to get into anything too extreme this week because a lot of what we're going to do is trying to test fit what we do hand paint and test fit the rest of the model together to make sure that it's coming out the way that we want. We're also going to be checking for any spots that rub that are going to rub off any of the paint that we applied before and this is going to give us a good idea of where to apply most of the weathering and uh, where it's going to naturally rub the most and that's where the mobile suit would, would need to be scratched up and weathered so we can hide all of those spots in the next episode of weathering and panel lining. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so uh, first I'm going to start off with getting all of my pieces together. As you can see, I'm just using a regular Crafter's Choice synthetic brush. You don't need expensive things and tools to make these kits. You don't. You really, really don't need to go all out. Cheap can make these fantastic. And we're gonna start off by using uh, more Vallejo product. It's the Vallejo Air Metallic Chrome. Uh, I like the way this stuff looks. It gives a nice shine. Uh, it is kind of a matte chrome, so it's not a mirror finish by any means. Um, and I think it's really gonna make a lot of the accent pieces pop, especially on the hoses and also the line details on all of our black metallic pieces. And don't worry if you, you know, mess up on, you know, doing these line details for the black metallic pieces. As you can see, I'm messing up a little bit too. I'm getting the paint kind of everywhere. Um, we can fix that. A little of the thin down black metallic paint, uh, maybe a little too thin to go right over that. Let that dry, it may need two coats, but you can go right over it, clean that edge right up and because we sprayed it before and it's going on really thin this time, it, it really does look, pretty flawless guys unless you're really really looking for those errors you're not going to be able to find them yep a super super sloppy job on that piece but like i said we're gonna fix that okay Well, the line on the chest uh, piece, I, it looks like I 
did that pretty well. That's uh, that's a bonus. You know, you do want to try to stay right on target with this stuff, but if you get a little out of line, just don't worry about it. It can be fixed. Then we're going to go ahead and dry brush um, the darker, uh, I guess it, it would be like, like rectangular hoses that were in his armpit area. Uh, we're going to dry brush that. That's going to allow us to paint um, all of the top edges with leaving all of the recesses still dark uh, and giving kind of a scratched effect. I used the same effect on the hands. Uh, I did get a little too much paint right there on the thumb, but uh, you know, it, it, it's okay. The rest of it's going to even out. It's going to be hard to tell the difference once it's all, the, all done and it's all put together. And you'll see here where I'm going back over my lines with the black metallic that's really thin down. Uh, I can almost see the metallic uh, pigment, all of the little specks kind of flow and move once it's on the piece. It is very, very thinned. If you're curious about how to thin paint, go ahead and let me know below and I will go further into how to thin paints, uh, at least for brush application. Uh, airbrush, I really am still getting used to that, as I've said in previous videos. So uh, I'm still working on that for you guys, but if you want to see that, I'll work on it, I'll get it down, and I'll show you that too. I'm also going back through and painting the black metallic behind some of the, uh, the hoses and things on the different parts that we had. Um, this is going to mainly just give you more depth whenever we take a look at this kit. Uh, more depth is more realism. Uh, that's part of the reason why we also appreciated this kit is because it does give all of the pieces more depth. It gives them a more dramatic look and um, that's something that we definitely need to go for with a kit like this to make it better. All right, so now let's go ahead and reassemble this kit. Like I've said before in a lot of my videos, uh, I do like to disassemble and reassemble kits a lot of times. Um, I have made a lot of mistakes this way and scratch paint from pieces, but you know, this is all a learning experience. Uh, try to be as careful as you can. At this stage, the kit is not really uh, top coated or sealed in any way, and I am not top coating for a reason right now uh, and it's not so that I can scratch off paint or really ruin it at this stage it's more so so that whenever I reassemble it and we're moving the joints around and things like that we can tell where the natural scrapes and scratches are going to occur that will give you a clue as to where to add some of the more weathered areas where it's already going to be scraped and scratched just from moving around So we're also going to go ahead and run our lines for the light in the head down to the foot area um, so we can just prep this kit for getting the, uh, the battery installed. Again, it's going to go down through the back of the neck area, through the chest, and then through a hole that I've drilled in the, uh, the belly section, the torso. We're going to wrap that around a, uh, a hole that was already kind of there for us in the waist armor. And then we're going to move down into the top of the leg that I had already drilled out. 
coming out the bottom of the leg and then of course into the calf area with these big bill bottoms and then uh, that area is so open that it's just going to come right out of the foot and that's how we can test the light. And there's our kit, all lit up, assembled, looking fine, looking good. All right, uh, so we are gonna have some spots like the, the knee there that I, I really, I kinda saw that coming, uh, that's gonna rub off some of the paint. We're also gonna have some spots there where the front skirt armor is going to rub a little bit as well. So we just need to keep this in mind whenever we go into the weathering stage, which is next, and, uh, take care of all of that and give that a little extra attention. All right, and there's our, uh, our kit so far. Hopefully you can tell a lot of the difference that we've, uh, that we painted and added on to this guy. And uh, hopefully you're at least a little impressed. If not, leave me a comment. Tell me why you're not impressed. Because there's kind of a lot to not be impressed about this kit so far. Now, if you were able to get anything out of this series or this video, um, please do me a favor, like this video, share it with anybody that you think also may get anything out of this video. And um, you know, if there's something that you hate about it or that you love about it or that you wanna see me do next or coming up with this kit, please let me know. And, and, and that's the thing is I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what's going on. Let me see whatever you're building. Like me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Share some things with me. I really want to be interactive with what's going on in this community to be one of those people that someone reaches out to and wants to see things from out of all of you subscribers. It, it, it thrills me. I, I don't even, I, I can't even really explain it. it I, I, I get giddy, okay? For instance, Shattered Mind 2484 commented, build a diorama for your Gundam. And you know what? I was considering it. And you know what? I am going to do it. Okay. Did you stay to the end of the episode? Well, I hope you did, because I've got exciting news. Some of it's exciting for me, some of it's exciting for you. First part, I started a Teespring store. No big deal. If you want one of these groovy stickers that I've got right here, calling you out for being a daydreamer about Gumpla, and uh, my insignia is on it, so, you know, it's for the channel and all that kind of thing. And if you want a chance to win this kit, Oh, just a sneak peek, just a sneak peek. Yeah, you probably saw it. You're probably gonna go back and stop the video if you didn't get a chance to see it, but it's just a sneak peek because I'm gonna give away that kit. I'm gonna give away a sticker with that kit and mail it to you, one of my subscribers, as a thank you for hitting the 200 subscriber mark. We're at 125 today. That's 75 subscribers, and that's the giveaway that I'm doing. So if you didn't stay to the end of the video, you don't know. If you did, you do know, and you're in the know, and now you know, and I'm gonna quit saying no. <laughs> Another thing that I'm really excited about is my Teespring store. That's how I got my stickers printed. They're die cup vinyl, uh, and then I also got my not char t-shirt came in i am psyched this thing came out really really good and you know in honor of char month which is august is when this is being filmed and in honor of it being at the end of the month because the month's coming to an end i am uh, gonna go ahead and put this on a little bit of a sale it's what they allowed me to do on the site use promo code dream 099 that's dream 099 and that's a discount code 
for your order on Teespring, and the link is below in the description. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this content, like, share, subscribe, all those good things, I'll smash buttons and whatever you want to do, check out this playlist and this video if you want to see more things that I'm doing with this kit, and if you didn't know that there was a mobile suit skirmish game. Until next time, daydreamers, I'm Justin, your ragtag daydreamer, and I'll see you soon.